Hello everyone, welcome to Scott's Honest Reviews and today we are reviewing the Ryobi 18 volt pressure washer. So before we get started, if you guys are interested, you can find this product in my video description uh, where I get everything I always put in the video description as well as extra Ryobi stuff. If you're not familiar with Ryobi, um, you came to the right place because I have over 10, that's right, 10 different Ryobi tools. And the great thing about Ryobi is the 18 volt lithium batteries, it's a part of the OnePlus series. You can actually use one battery, so let me show you, one battery on over 100, that's right, 100 different Ryobi tools. This little battery can be used on 100 tools. And this is just one of the Ryobi tools that you can use. Okay, back to the pressure washer. Can you believe a pressure washer fits in this little box? So this is the battery operated pressure washer. No wires, no cords. Um, to go over some key specs, skip this video, skip ahead maybe 30 seconds or so if you don't want to hear the specs, if you want to get to the unboxing. Then we're going to test it and demonstrate it for you guys to show you how it works because I'm very curious to see how it works. Okay, so five times more powerful than a garden hose, three in one nozzle, uh, turbo, 15 degree, and rinse. Works with any standard garden hose sold separately. Um, 20 feet suction hose for on the clean, for on the go cleaning. And that's about it. Okay, let's get to the unboxing. but it's not always the case. All right. So this is what it looks like. Wow. There is a little weight to it, um, but not too bad. Not bad for considering. Obviously once we put the battery in, which goes in the bottom here, so it's water protected. Very simple. Awesome guys, very cool. All right, now, underneath, you see under there, that is what connects to your one line that has the gray end. So you push that in, pop it in place and it'll snap into place. To pull it, pull it out, you just simply push up, pull down, pop it right out, comes right out. And you don't need this. So you put the adapter on there, just like so, pop it in, and then thread your garden hose on there. But since we're doing with this, I'll show you, and maybe we'll test out the garden hose feature as well, but that's not why we got it. We got this so it's portable. Okay, let's go ahead. We take our piece here and just thread that in. Keep turning it in. Turn it in until it's tight, and there you go. This is how we have it. Make sure you press the button in, there's going to be a gray button right here. If you don't press it in, you can't do anything, it's a safety lock. So you press it, and then you're good to go. Alright, let's test it out.
So with a 4.0 AH battery, I was able to do 15 minutes with the pressure washer um, and this wasn't charged fully. So I'd say not even three quarters, maybe a little over half. So if this was fully charged, we probably easily could have done 20, 25 minutes with this battery. No need of fear. We got another one. This is half charged. So we're going to go ahead and continue. But from what I can see right now, it's definitely getting a 7.8 to 9 out of 9, um, 9 out of 10. You know, it's really working out really good. So we used five gallons of soap water, five gallons of clean water, and probably another 2.5 gallons of fresh water just to make sure we got all the soap off. So guys, 9 out of 10, the pressure washer definitely gets a 9 out of 10. It is awesome.